freedom makes a huge requirement of every human being. With freedom comes responsibility. This is a frightening prospect for the person unwilling to grow up and not carry his own weight. You gain strength, courage, and confidence through every experience in which you really stop to look fear in the face. You are able to say to yourself, I lived through this horror. I can take the next thing that comes along. Do what you feel in your heart to be right for you'll be criticized anyway. You'll be damned if you do, and damned if you don't. You have to accept whatever comes and the only important thing is that you meet it with courage and with the best that you have to give. Probably the happiest period in life most frequently is in middle age, when the eager passions of youth are cooled, and the infirmities of age not yet begun, as we see that the shadows, which are at morning and evening so large, almost entirely disappear at midday. Sometimes I wonder if we shall ever grow up in our politics and say definite things which mean something, or whether we shall always go on using generalities to which everyone can subscribe, and which mean very little. I once had a rose named after me and I was very flattered. But I was not pleased to read the description in the catalog, no good in a bed, but fine up against a wall. I believe that anyone can conquer fear by doing the things he fears to do, provided he keeps doing them until he gets a record of successful experience behind him. One's philosophy is not best expressed in words, it is expressed in the choices one makes. And the choices we make are ultimately our responsibility. Too often the great decisions are originated and given form in bodies made up wholly of men or so completely dominated by them that whatever special value women have to offer is shunted aside without expression. When life is too easy for us, we must beware or we may not be ready to meet the blows which sooner or later come to everyone, rich or poor. I think I lived those years very impersonally. It was almost as though I had erected someone outside myself who was the president's wife. I was lost somewhere deep down inside myself. That is the way I felt and worked until I left the White House. Anyone who knows history, particularly the history of Europe, will, I think, recognize that the domination of education or of government by any one particular religious faith is never a happy arrangement for the people. 